Hello everyone and welcome to the 2020 presentation video. I'm Shannon Argle, the Assistant Principal here at Matoa College. And as you can imagine, with restrictions on large gatherings, etc., we've decided to make this video in lieu of the presentation evening to celebrate the academic success of our wonderful students. I would like to start by acknowledging the Wurundjeri, Boon Wurrung people of the Kulin Nation, who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would like to pay my respect to their elders, past, present and emerging. I would also like to acknowledge my gratitude and respect for that we share this land today, my sadness for the costs of sharing and my hope and belief that we can move to a place of equity, justice and partnership together. As there was very little sport in 2020 and our Year 12 VCE students are still waiting on their results, there will be no awards in these areas. The Year 12s will be acknowledged for their completion of schooling at a later date. I would like to thank all sponsors for this video and ensuring the students receive valuable recognition they deserve. Those sponsors are Abalulum, Wimmera Southern Mali LLEN, Total Computer Technology, Rapanyap Minyap Community Bank, Minyap Matoa Football Club, K&J Baker, the Australian Defence Force, Rapanyap Football Netball Club, the Matoa Progress Association and Ballarat Books. I would like to now start the formalities by inviting the principal, Mr Tony Goodwin, for his 2020 address. Mr Goodwin's address will be followed by Mr David Gooden, the School Council President. Thank you for that introduction, Mr Argyll. Welcome to the college community to our virtual presentation video, which is replacing our normal presentation evening process. 2020 has been a very different year in education. The COVID-19 pandemic required students and staff to spend nearly half the academic year learning and teaching from home. Remote teaching and learning was amazing, to say the least. Our community have developed skills that we never knew we had. The use of various platforms has provided education at Matoa to be able to adapt and evolve. The use of the platforms will now be embedded in the delivery of teaching and learning at the college. We have reflected on this year, we've reviewed what we've done, and we will plan appropriately for 2021. With the things that we will focus on will be very different. Our teaching and learning will be about catching up those students who are behind, stretching those students who are excelling, but above all, focusing on making sure that the community's wellbeing is at the forefront of everything. To all in the community that were involved in the delivery of remote teaching and learning, I need to openly thank you for this year's efforts. That is students, teachers, education support staff, parents and carers. Even through this interesting time, DEET has made it clear that our agenda is to improve literacy and numeracy, and they are supporting this focus with resources for various programs across this theme. Our college has been able to maintain this focus and moving forward, we will gain, use this priority of resources to, that are provided by DEET. Our strategic plan has come to the end of its four year cycle, but continues to drive how we deliver teaching and learning. The focus of the college in 2020 has been to improve teaching and learning practice within the college, improve the wellbeing of all who attend the college, and to improve student engagement. These three focuses have helped improve the delivery of teaching and learning of the young people of the college. 2021 will see Matoa College in a review cycle, which will help the college refocus, retool, and continue the improvement journey it is on. Our assessment and reporting continues to be more consistent and more frequent. Our student management tool, Zuno, continues to improve and provide the community with timely and relevant feedback. We will continue to review and refine our processes of communication with the community with the hope of continued improvement. The highlight this year, without a doubt, has been the, the delivery of remote teaching and learning. 
I have never seen both students and staff embrace a major education change like this and successfully navigate it. Not only have we retooled and developed skills we never knew we had, we've embraced it, accepted it and now embedded it in our practice. I am particularly proud of the point of difference that we can, can provide in our small rural community. I've said it before, but we are a caring school and we know our students and we provide support for them when required. The other point of difference is that we continue to run small classes across the board from foundation through to year 12. This will continue in 2021. Now for some acknowledgements. Firstly, to the students. Our fantastic students. They make Matoa College a wonderful place to be with their positive attitude. They are very good ambassadors for the college and we see it when they travel out of the college on excursions or even on camps. I'm extremely proud to say that they represent the college with pride. Our presentation process will recognise achievements of our student body and reinforce what I've just said. A special mention to the Year 12 cohort who have been a delight this year and wonderful role models for the rest of the college. I wish them an exciting and productive future in whatever career they choose. Secondly, the staff. The 48 teaching and education support staff that we have here at Matoa are awesome. They are the number one resource in this college and the major reason the college is so successful. I am fortunate to work with a dedicated and committed group of professionals who continually put the students' learning at the forefront of everything they do. They engage the young people of the college through a broad curriculum and deliver a very diverse, to a very diverse group of learners. This year has been amazing in that they have embraced the remote learning platforms and made them user-friendly for the students. So thank you to the whole staff cohort for supporting me to make Matoa College a positive place of learning. Thanking you for caring about the students, for your contribution to Matawa College. As I've said before, you are a great team. Thirdly, to the parents and guardians. Thank you to the parents, guardians, grandparents and friends of the college. You are important partners in this educational relationship. Thank you for supporting this college and doing all those required activities that go unnoticed. This year, a lot of you became pseudo teachers and have done a fantastic job helping the students when they were learning from home. Please keep on being that necessary support for the students as we cannot do the job without your support. Fourthly, to the college community. Our students at our college belong to a community and attend a school that is part of a community. Students at Matoa College know and care about other students, staff and extended families. Activities in the community directly relate to the college and in most cases work in conjunction. This makes our learning environment far stronger than most and one that, we that can support every student. I'd like to finish up with, finally, I would like to hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and that the break is relaxing, safe and fun. We will see the students back at the college when school resumes on Wednesday, uh, sorry, on the week starting of January 27. I would now like to introduce our school council president, Mr. David Gooden. Thanks, Principal Goodwin. Uh, 2020 will be here to remember. For everyone connected with Matawa College, it has been completely different to what we had thought of was going to happen at the start of the year. With that in mind, on behalf of the School Council, there are two groups I would especially like to thank. Firstly, I'd like to thank the staff. You have gone over and above to provide Matawa College students with the best education possible during these difficult times. New challenges were put in front of you all, and you all rose to meet them head on with great success. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Mr Goodwin, Mr Argyll and Mrs Noonan for the way they have led the school, both secondary and primary school, through this 
with great skill and great care. Secondly, I'd like to thank the students. As a group, you've gone through an experience that no other student group has gone through before. You have adapted and remained focused as best you could with everything this year has thrown at you. You should be proud of what you have achieved. Personally, I'd like to thank the School Council. For all their hard work, I look forward to next year when we can meet face to face and push forward with some of the plans and ideas we have come up with this year to make Matoa College better in the future. I would also like to acknowledge previous School Council members, Ross Sudoltz, Peter Bella, Mel Shear and Anne Sudoltz, all of whom received certificates of appreciation this year from the Department of Education for their outstanding services to School Council. I would also like to encourage other members of our community to take the opportunity to join the School Council in the future. Finally, I'd like to wish the Year 12 class of 2020 who are leaving the college to embark on the next chapter of their lives all the best. This year was not how you pictured your last year at Matoa College to be, but you have set the challenges and exceed, succeeded where you, the best you could. Whether you're heading off to further studies or staying local with employment, everyone in the Matoa College community wishes you all the best. I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year. Thank you Mr Goodwin and Mr Gordon for your speeches. We will now move on to the awards. The first set of awards to be presented are the F to 6 All-Rounder Awards. For these awards, teachers have selected a student in each year level that has achieved excellent academic results and maintained exemplary behaviour and effort all year round. It is also important to mention that in all award ceremonies, students and staff have sanitizers both before and after the ceremony and have removed their face masks just for the filming component. The F to 6 award winners will receive an award to the amount of $20, which is sponsored by the Rapanyup Minyup Community Bank. Mrs Noonan will be presenting these awards to the students. The award winners are Foundation Charlie Agnew Year 1 Ali Colwyn Year 2 Braxton Ma Year 3 Bentley Pendlebury Year 4 Matilda Moore Year 5, Lily Heron. And Year 6, Zachary Oakley. Congratulations to our F to 6 All Rounder Award winners. We will now move on to the graduation of our Year 6 students. The following Year 6 students have completed their primary schooling. We look forward to their efforts and contribution in the senior school. Mrs. Nicole Noonan will present the Year 6 certificates. Alex Barbero. Mason Coombe. Alex Tatillis. Matt Gardy. Matilda Gorse, Logan Harris, Olivia Lease, Logan Liao, Amy Mathrick, Aidan Nash. Zachary Oakley, Delilah Parsons, Aria Roos, Poppy Roos, Ari Taylor, 
Darcy Telpak, Lily Wilson, and Ruby Wilson. Congratulations to the Grade 6 graduates of 2020. The next part of this presentation is the introduction of the 2021 Junior School Captains. The Junior School Captains for next year will be presented their badges by the 2020 School Captains. The 2021 Junior School Captains are Jesse Hankin and Lily Heron. The Junior Vice Captains for 2021 will be presented their badges from the 2020 Vice Captains. The 2021 Junior Vice Captains are Luke Sudolfs and Tilly Gooden. I would like to now take this opportunity to thank the 2020 Junior School Captains, Matilda Gorse and Lily Wilson, and the 2020 Junior Vice Captains, Alex Barbero and Ruby Wilson. These four students will receive a gift from the incoming captains for their hard work in 2020. The next set of awards are the Academic Achievement Awards for Year 7 to 11. These will be presented by Mr. Joel Beggs. The Achievement Awards are presented to students who demonstrate all of the following. They complete all set tasks, consistently work to capacity and demonstrate a high participation effort. They also demonstrate high standards of behaviour and attitude. All students in Year 7 to 10 who obtain a varying minimum of subject nominations for their respective year level will receive an award. The students from Year 7 to 9 who receive the most nominations in their year level will also receive the All-Rounder Award valued at $20. The All-Rounder Awards for Year 7 to 9 have been kindly donated by Rapanyup Minyup Community Bank, Abba Loom Loom, Ballarat Books, and the Minyup Matoa Football Netball Club. The Ducks Awards for years 10 to 11 will be awarded later in this video. We will start the Year 7 Academic Achievement Awards. The award winners are Will Hemley. Baxter Hendy, Austin Jones, Jake Ma, Emily Moore, Bella Noonan, Lila Schultz, Hayley Sudoltz, Adele Wiedemann, Claire White, and Michaela Wright. And our All Rounder Award winners are Rosie Dunn, Madeline Funk. and Alex Morgan. Congratulations to the Year 7 Academic Achievement Award winners. The Year 8 Academic Award winners are Lily Adler, Emily Faulkner, Darius Yates Joyrum and Philip Sierra Marin. And our All Rounder Award winners are Charlie Baker, Amelia Fagan, Charlie Gorth, and Jed Warwick. 
Congratulations to the Year 8 award winners. The Year 9 academic award winners are Georgia Gardy, Archie Gorth, Will Gelatley, Oliver Moore, and Grace Turner. And our all-rounder award winners are Alex Bone and Tyler Pigeon. Congratulations to the Year 9 Academic Achievement winners. The Year 10 award winners are Fraser Adler, Lloyd Baker, Molly Fagan, Caitlin Funk, Emily Hocker, Bronte Kerens, and Ty Starrick, who has since left Matoa College. Congratulations to our Year 10 award winners. The Year 11 award winners are Cleo Baker, Brianna Bell, Selena Boyd, Will Coots, Jesse Delahunty, and Bailey Young, who was absent at the time of recording. Congratulations to our Year 11 Academic Award winners. It is now my pleasure to announce the Special Achievement Awards. These will be presented by our school principal, Mr. Tony Goodwin. The first Special Achievement Award is the Young Writers Award, which is only open to Year 12 students. The winner of this award will have their name added to the shield and receives a $50 donated by the Matoa Progress Association. The Young Writers Award winner for 2020 is Lily Horvat. The next awards are the Library Reading Awards, sponsored by the Matoa Progress Association and are valued at $50 each. These are awarded to students who have read a wide variety of books, both fiction and non-fiction, and by a wide range of authors. These books should also be a form a range of genres and be generally complex for the age of the reader. They are also seen as a reading role model by their peers. The junior school winner is Logan Liao. And the senior school winner is Philip Sierra Marin. The next awards are the Australian Defence Leadership and Team Awards. This year there are three awards, two for, from students from Year 10 and one student from Year 12. The Australian Defence Force Leadership and Team Awards are based about, upon the values upheld by the ADF, which are leadership, teamwork, values, problem solving, resourcefulness, communication, cooperation and community involvement. All of the recipients demonstrate these values in all aspects of their college and community lives. The Year 10s receive an award for $250 and the Year 12 winner receives $550. Our Year 10 winners are Fraser Adler and Lloyd Baker. Our Year 12 winner is Imogen Fisher. The next award is the Phil Yui Memorial Award in Home Economics. 
This award is sponsored by Abba Loom Loom and the Minute Matoa Football Club and is valued at $50. This award is in memory of Phil Yui, who was a valued member of our school community for many years. It is awarded to a student who has participated in Year 10, 9-10 Home Economics during the year and who has demonstrated the following attributes. They show initiative, regular attendance and a high standard of behaviour in class. Their written and practical tasks are consistently high effort and have a positive attitude to all tasks. This year's winner is Caitlin Funk. The next award, the Marg Hamilton Visual Arts Prize, is sponsored by Abba Loom Loom and is valued at $30. This award is in memory of Marg Hamilton, whose passion, enthusiasm and promotion of the visual arts was an inspiration to all. The criteria for the award is the students must have an affinity to work in a range of materials and techniques, a willingness to take risks to explore their creative potential, along with appreciation for other students' and artists' work. They must have sensitivity towards the arts and a creative flair. This year's winners are Amelia Fagan, Claire White, and Michaela Wright. The next award is the Latrobe Institute for Molecular Science Scholarship. Due to the generosity of a former Matoa High School student, a person who has also been associated with Latrobe University Melbourne, we have a scholarship to present to a student who in VCE has expressed a desire to study science at university. The purpose of this scholarship is to enable the winner to visit university open days attend orientation sessions during holidays and also assist with the cost of tertiary education. This scholarship is worth $2,000. This year's winner is a Year 11 student who has demonstrated a passion for science. In the Year, in the year 11, the student has completed a number of science subjects. The recipient will embark on their final year of secondary education next year and this scholarship will allow them to further investigate the tertiary science courses available and also provide some financial assistance when those studies commence. The winner of the scholarship for 2020 is Chandan Tani. The next section is the Individual Achievement Awards and they will also be presented by Mr Goodwin. The next award is the Year 10 Ducks Award which is sponsored by Total Computer Technology and is valued at $100. This prize is awarded to the student who has achieved the best academic results in Year 10 during 2020. The award is determined by considering academic achievement throughout the year across all subjects not just excellence in one or two subject areas. This year's winner has shown that they are a student who performs well above the expected year 10 level in most disciplines. This year's winner is Bronte Kerens. The next award is the Year 11 Ducks, which is sponsored by K&J Baker and is valued at $150. This award recognises outstanding academic performance across all subject areas. The winner this year has achieved the most A plus grades across all of their subjects and has demonstrated a considerable improvement throughout their time at Matola College and exceptional work habits. The winner of the Year 11 Ducks Award is Brianna Bell. It is now my great pleasure to welcome back to Matoa College the 2019 Ducks winner, Tanil Nitschke. Tanil is presently completing a degree in environmental science with a major in marine biology at Deakin University in Warrnambool. Thanks Mr Argyll. Hello, my name is Tanil Nitschke and for those of you who don't know me, I graduated from Matoa College last year. 
Um, I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Environmental Science, majoring in Marine Biology. Um, I'm doing this with Deakin University on the Warrnambool campus. Uh, 2020 has been an interesting one, and so I thought I would talk briefly about my first year at uni uh, during these um, unprecedented times. So, uh, My time at Matoa College was fantastic, and I had a lot of great opportunities to develop some personal skills, uh, such as leadership through SRC, school council, and my captaincy as well. I made great friends during my time, uh, many of which I'm still in contact with and um, I know will remain part of my life into the future. Uh, but of course, growing up is never easy and the period of your life in which you are going through school always presents new and interesting challenges. Um, and I, for one, am very proud of everyone for persevering this year. Uh, being at such a small and personal school is such a wonderful thing um, and I recommend making the most of your time as I know everyone says this, but it really does go very quick. Um, so I started off this year with working at the YMCA over summer um, before packing up my things and moving out of home for the first time to Warrnambool. Uh, my first month and a half there was amazing. I was meeting the coolest people and having new adventures daily um, until of course COVID hit after only my first week of university classes and we were asked to move home. So I packed all my pots and pans and things I bought for uni and packed my room and I drove back to Horsham uh, feeling very uncertain and quite defeated as well. Um, but my three months at home were fantastic and looking back I'm really thankful that I had that extra time to spend with my parents and my pets as well. <laughs> um, the transition to online learning was interesting uh, with Zoom becoming a forum that I was spending a lot of time on, I'm sure you can all relate. Um, and my field work and my labs got cancelled so at home science was taken up <laughs> for my chemistry and biology classes. It was really fun actually and I got to still wear my lab coat and goggles which was exciting. Um, and then I moved back to Res in July and I had the option to stay there for the second six week lockdown, uh, which I took. So going back to Res and seeing my friends was amazing and living on the coast has always been a dream of mine. So that was great too. Eventually we had some restrictions ease and I saw my family for the first time in three months, um, which not seeing them for that long was a challenge within itself. But yeah, uh, and now with the easing of restrictions, I've been able to participate in more activities, go to local markets, meet more people and become more involved with the Warrnambool community which has been fantastic. In the last month I've said goodbye to some really close friends who are now on the other side of the world um, and I've continued to grow as a person from all the ups and downs um, that 2020 has presented. So I've become involved with the Deakin Environmental Club um, on the Warrnambool campus and I'm now one of the ex executives which is exciting. Um, I've learnt some incredibly interesting content through my course and I have met some of the most amazing people um, who I'm very thankful for. As of now, I'm still studying. Um, I'm doing an elective over the summer and then I start my second year um, next year and I'm going to continue to live in Warrnambool as I'm loving it so much. Um, but thank you for taking the time to listen to my experience. I wish you all the best for 2021 and congratulations for the graduating class of 2020. Thank you, Tennille. You were a fantastic student whose name is often mentioned and one that is definitely missed. The next awards are VCE VCAL completion. Due to students starting work in these year levels, they will be recognised but are not filmed receiving their awards. Mr Andrew Vague will outline how they will receive their awards. I would like to now introduce Mr Vague. Thanks, Shannon. I'd like to congratulate the Year 12 group on their efforts this year. I'd also like to congratulate the various senior award winners that will be presented after results are released on December the 30th. Well done to everybody. Could I acknowledge the work of their coordinator, Mr Bray, and also their form teacher, Mr Beggs. To all of their Year 12 teachers, thank you very much for your commitment during a very difficult year. Year 12 represents the end of our student secondary schooling. Students from 2020 will follow a number of pathways next year, including further training at a TAFE institution or a private provider, tertiary study at a university, an apprenticeship or traineeship, or full-time employment. All of these are equally good outcomes. Already we have a number of students who have had early offers to a variety of courses and scholarships. Two students have commenced a full-time apprenticeship and a number have commenced full-time work. Other students are employed casually as part of the grain harvest. Many students have permanent part-time positions. Tonight we will be acknowledging the exiting Year 12 students who have attained their senior school certificates, both VC certificates, which is the Victorian Certificate of Education, 
and VCAL certificates, which is the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. Students will receive their certificates and their career plans in the mail in early January. Results are released at 7 o'clock on Wednesday the 30th of December 2020. Tonight I will be acknowledging students who have completed their VET certificates, their VC certificates, their VCAL certificates and also students who have undertaken school-based apprenticeships. Oh, firstly, I'd like to congratulate Ruby Batchelor. Ruby Batchelor was awarded a VC certificate. I'd like to congratulate Bevan Brook. Bevan was awarded a VCAL Intermediate Certificate and also completed a Certificate two in Music. I'd like to congratulate Connor Brophy. Connor was awarded a VC Certificate. I'd like to congratulate Curtis Brown. Curtis was awarded a VC Certificate. I'd like to congratulate Chelsea Eagle. Chelsea was awarded a VC Certificate. I'd like to congratulate Jay Farlow. Jay was awarded a VC Certificate. I'd like to congratulate Imogen Fisher. Imogen was awarded a VC certificate. I'd like to congratulate Mackenzie Gooden. Mackenzie was awarded a VC certificate. I'd like to congratulate Lily Horvat. Lily was awarded a VC certificate. I'd like to congratulate Balana Penny Paditz. Balana was awarded a VC certificate. I'd like to congratulate Logan Petering. Logan was awarded a VC certificate but was also undertaking a school-based apprenticeship in fabrication. I'd like to congratulate Shannara Phillips. Shannara was awarded an Intermediate VCAL Certificate. Shannara completed a Certificate two in Hair and Beauty and was also undertaking a school-based apprenticeship in hairdressing. I'd like to congratulate Layla Robertson. Layla was awarded a VC Certificate. I'd like to congratulate Brianna Rundell. Bree was awarded a VC certificate, but has also been undertaking a business admin traineeship with the Horsham Police. I'd like to congratulate William Salagari. William was awarded a VC certificate, but was also completing a school-based apprenticeship in building and construction. I'd like to congratulate Blake Turner. Blake was awarded a VC certificate, and I'd like to congratulate Hannah White. Hannah was awarded a VC certificate. I'd like to congratulate all of the graduating class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Vague, and congratulations to all the Year 12s on an outstanding performance in what was an extremely difficult year. The next award is the Abraham Kingston Award, previously known as the Personal Development Skills Award. This award has been named in honour of the late Abraham Kingston, who was the 2018 recipient of the PDS Award. Personal Development Skills, or what is commonly known as PDS, is a subject which involves students organising and participating in projects within the school and Dunmunkle community. This award is sponsored by the Rapanyup Football Netball Club and is valued at $50. The 2020 winner of the Abe Kingston Award is Bevan Brook. The next award is the Work Related Skills Award. All VCAL students are required to organise and participate in work placement during the year to satisfy the Work Related Skills standard of the curriculum. To receive this award, students need to be able to demonstrate initiative and organise their workplace. They must regularly attend placement and display the values of our school. This award is sponsored by the Matoa Progress Association and the winner will receive $50. The winner of the Work Related Skills Award for 2020 is Brent Phillips. The next award is the Vet Excellence Award. Students undertake a nationally recognised vocational certificate when they enrol in VET, Vocational Education and Training. These are many programs available and in women ranging from hospitality to hairdressing. The criteria for the VET Excellence Award is, a student needs to have a positive attitude and approach to all tasks. They must regularly attend training days and work placements show high levels of enthusiasm, initiative and dedication. 
They must demonstrate cooperation with an RTO, employer, fellow vet or VCAL students and school staff is essential and completing all aspects of the theoretical of practical work is required. This award is sponsored by Wimmera Southern Mallee Local Learning and Employment Network. The winners of the VET Award for 2020 are Balana Penny Paditz, Lloyd Baker, and Jersey Espirito Santo. I would like to now invite the school captains Imogen Fisher and Brianna Rundell to provide their school captains address for 2020. We would like to welcome students, parents, guardians, staff, teachers and friends. We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we stand and acknowledgement to their elders past, present and emerging. This year has been full of unexpected surprises and many challenges, but we have all came through strong. Even during the heat of COVID-19, we remain determined and hopeful for our futures. Our class has came together and built an everlasting connection between each other through our shared hardship. We would like to say a big thank you to the teachers who taught us everything we know and encouraged and supported us through the good and bad times. Thank you to Vincent for all your effort to make remote learning run smoother and thank you to the canteen staff for all the hot food, especially the pizza toast. And we'd also like to thank Mr Gooden for keeping Matoa College alive. Thank you to the library staff for always recommending the best reads. Thank you to Gertzie for keeping our school clean and sanitised. Thank you to the office staff for your hard work and caring nature. And finally, a big thank you to our parents and guardians for your support during our schooling. Thank you, Brianna and Imogen. That was a beautifully worded message. The next part of this presentation is the introduction of the 2021 school captains. The school captains for next year will now be presented their badges by the school captains from 2020. The 2021 school captains are Selena Boyd and Bailey Young. The 2021 vice captains are Jesse Delahunty and Chandan Tandy. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank the 2020 school captains, Imogen Fisher and Brianna Rundell, and also the 2020 school vice captains, Balana Penny Paditz and Curtis Brown. These students will receive a gift from the incoming captains. The next part of this presentation is a few thank yous. Thank you to the sponsors listed in the program for their generosity on the presentation video, but also the numerous individuals and organisations who have sponsored the college programs over the year. Thanks also to all the people who have helped organise the presentation video, particularly Mr Metalman and his team that have worked to create this production. A fantastic effort and I'm sure you'll all agree. Thank you to the staff and many parents grandparents and friends of the college who support us and helped us out in many ways. Your contributions are always welcome and greatly appreciated. Thank you also to the school council for their help in official matters but also in maintenance of school grounds and facilities. I'd also like to thank you to Neil Nitschke for her words and her progress in 2020. Some final notes. There will be no book collection dates next year as all the books will be mailed out. The first day of school will be on Thursday the 28th of January and that will be all students F through 12. I'd like to take this moment on behalf of the Matoa College community to wish you a Merry Christmas and have a safe and happy new year. Thank you very much for watching this video.